Phil O'Neill from Australia and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today I have the new Stombi Titan 4 valve corner. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4 valves. What does the 4th valve do? Well the 4th valve works exactly the same as the 4th valve on the piccolo trumpet. So anyone who's played piccolo trumpet, you'll know exactly how it works. Same as euphonium as well, all right? and some tubers I believe as well. The fourth valve is an alternative fingering to one and three. So you can play either one and three or the fourth valve. So for me, because it's easier to use my third valve than my fourth valve, I'm probably not going to use it much for using as an alternative to the one and three. But where it does become really special is it extends the low range. So if you go down from C chromatically down to F sharp is the lowest note we can play on the B flat trumpet. So where the fourth valve does become really special is I can extend the low register just by adding the fourth valve and then using the same finger as I would for the note in the octave above. And that's down to low C sharp. Now the pedal C is still a pedal with even with the fourth valve, so. Why do we need a fourth valve? Well, the most common excerpt that comes to my mind is Carmen. So by using the fourth valve and the first valve on the Carmen excerpt, it then means that our low F on the B flat instrument is then a clear sounding note. So they're actually sounding like real notes, and I'm really enjoying it. Now, I don't want to go and buy a new instrument just for the fourth valve for the occasional excerpt or the occasional solo work that's going to require it. I want to know that this is going to be a fantastic cornet all through my register. And so far, it's been an absolute beauty of an instrument. I've been really enjoying playing it. Everything I've recorded in this video has been recorded on this Stomvi 4-valve Titan Cornet. The first study I played is the Berdiev study number two. If you don't have the Berdiev book, I'll leave a link in the description where you can go and buy that. It's a really good book, plenty of studies in there to keep you practicing and keep you enjoying playing the trumpet. And the Carmen excerpt are all on this instrument here. I've only had this instrument for a couple of days, so I'm still getting used to it, but so far I've been really enjoying playing this as a normal cornet. I'm finding the articulation on it is absolutely ripper. <laughs> the question of the video is, is the fourth valve the future of the instrument? What do you guys think? You know, there are guys like Pacho Flores and Sergei Nakarayakov who are playing pretty close to exclusively on the four valve instruments. So it'd be interesting to see if that takes off and it becomes more and more co common, more popular. Let me know in the comments. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up. That way I can see which videos you like so I can create more videos just the same as that. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I'll leave a little link up here so you can go and subscribe. If you want to see more review videos, 
I have a review where I've compared my Mount Vernon Bark Stradivarius to my Stompy Master. You can check, find that at the link here as well. As always, I'm Phil O'Neill from Australia, and happy practicing.